Hey guys, One Man One Camera here. Today we're doing a bit of a local ride, not in the greatest area in the world. Um, one of the viewers is moving out here to Vegas to a apartment complex nearby here, and so he said, hey man, come on down. He said, hey man, why don't you show me? He said, hey, give me a, a little tour of the area. No problem. We're starting off with this little uh, strip mall, okay? Which is down the street from the place. And you see it has some gambling places, a family dollar. This family dollar, uh, it's okay. You are not allowed to keep your bags as you go inside. Put them behind the counter and keep on rocking. Laos Thai street food restaurant. I have never tried those guys. I've been inside there once before, but it's really kind of dark, you know, as far as lighting goes. I didn't like that, so anyway. It's a small little market right here. Went in there once, blah, blah, blah. You see, pretty, pretty bland. This Launderland wash house. Um, bad vibe in that place, didn't like it. It's used to buy an IC chip card for two bucks first. It's the little things, right? And then Lefty J's Island Favorites is really a delicious place. I saw Mikey Chen was there one day. I've been there once, it's all, it's good. Thank you. And then the next to Palm Pizza, which does pizza, burger, fried chicken, other things. The pizza was good. Burger and fries, really tasty. Fried chicken, eh. I think homie had old oil, had old oil. All right, anyway, so as we go north on I think this is University. You're gonna pass by this little U-Haul truck station, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this place is called The Tides, newly renovated, now leasing. Damn, bro. Well, this cat was not gonna go in front of him. Jesus. All right, into the street. Now, I am not sure. Anyway, so, okay. Up this street, now on the left side, there is a Hampton Inn and Suites for those who are coming to Vegas to stay in a different area. And this is a heavily urbanized area with, you know, a lot of apartments, which is cool, no problem there. Now, the place that you were looking at or you've been moving to, I think it's. Not this one. Is it this one? I think it's this one. Wait a minute. Not this one either. But you see in the alpha in the distance, a little red sign, which says, Villa, welcome to your new home. Now, they do have a gate on here. I think remote control. Maybe they give you a, a little thing to press to get in. I don't know. Probably so. I, can't, I cannot ride through there. I'll get stuck in there. But this is the place. Okay, you see it goes all the way across to Cambridge, the street way, way over there. All right, so let's keep riding. Desert Villas at Desert Point Apartments. Okay, so now across the street to the left is a uh, police station. And just behind that police station is the Las Vegas Convention Center. Oakley Dokley. Okay, so we're gonna turn right. Oh, I guess they're working on the street over here. I didn't know that. So, turning right to give you a view. All right, as you can see, there is a gate surrounding the property for various reasons. Now, this is Sierra Vista Drive. Okay. Now, across the street from the apartment, there's this place called Awesome Thai Food in this little... Uh, Strip mall right here. I'm gonna, I'll turn the camera over there. Hang on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Whew. She's right there. Okay, tasty place. I've been there three times and uh, food was good and I was happy. The other little shops inside of the little mall, I have not been in, so I cannot attest to their goodness or badness. Okay, let's keep going. See apartments, apartments, apartments. Across the street is another apartment. And on the corner on the left is a 7-Eleven. And you can see it's a pretty big complex. I'm not sure the total units, probably 300 maybe, or more units over here. It's a pretty big place. So we're going to turn right down Cambridge 
just so you can see the other side of the uh, building. As I said earlier, you can drive straight through the apartment from one side, go from University over to Cambridge, straight through. Sorry for the wind, you guys. It's been really windy out here, so the audio may be crappy. So, just sit tight. All right. So, as you can see, heading down Cambridge now. Now, across the street, there is a small, I call it liquor store, or a small, uh, what do you call it? Grocery store? Um, and attached to, that, attached to that, the place called Simply D's. Hang on, let's just go over there real quick. Called uh, Simply D's. They got fried chicken, fried fish, and so on, greens and that sort of thing. I had the chicken once, it was good, right? Simply delicious. And yes, it is, okay? All right. Homeboy plays the uh, old like, Motown hits all the time. Sounds good to me. Okay, we're gonna go down the street called Dumont. I wanna show you something over here. Okay, there's a boys club at the corner right here. All right, more apartments, more apartments. Some of balconies, this is a townhome villa. Now I don't know the prices of these places, you guys, okay? I just don't know, I never really looked. So we're heading to Maryland Parkway and directly across the street is the Boulevard Mall. So we are close to that. Let's see. Now I have never been inside these apartments over here, so I don't know the layouts. You know, if it has open kitchen or whatever, I have no idea. Now on the right side, there was a 24 hour coin laundry. Um, I tried these guys before, and you know what? It wasn't bad. I think they give you free soap, or they did before, they give you free soap to a wash your clothes. And next to that is Champagne Cafe, which is an old, old school bar um, with gaming table. You know, the, the gaming machines, the poker, you can do whatever. And I've been there once, uh, had a couple of drinks, it was all right. Then you have a little um, dinky little mall, you know, with these $2 shoes and so on. Been there before, I've been inside there before. Didn't buy anything, kind of looked around. Another place where you have to uh, leave your bag at the counter. Uh, there's the uh, Nikim African Food Shop, been there before. Wild tour, huh, you guys? Hey, hey. Now this is, um, like I mentioned before, in this area, that little brown building that you can barely see, that is the methadone clinic. All right. It is kind of rush hour, so we are staying on the sidewalk. It's just too much, you know, too dangerous on the street, in my opinion. Okay, another 7-Eleven to the left, to the right, I mean. I'm on the corner of Twain and Maryland Parkway. Push the bike. Wah. So your closest major supermarket is going to be Vons. I'm not sure what the equivalent of Vons is to where you're coming from, but out here there's Vons and Albertsons and Smiths, which are your main standard supermarkets. Then there are your quote-unquote ethnic markets, like. Uh, Behind us, Ranch 99, hits the Asian stuff. Across the street, Seafood City, also Asian. But in Vegas, there's also La Bonita and a few other ones for the more Mexican places. So you are, you know, you got plenty of choices. Little Caesars, uh, Taco Bell, for those colon cleansing times. <laughs> Sorry, just kidding. Oh, wait a minute. Now, there is a park over here called Malaski Park. 
um, only open from dawn to dusk. Uh, you know how these times are, but there are a lot of homeless folks who live in and around the park. So at dusk, they walk out, the guards lock the gate. At dawn, they open the gates and they go back in. That's just how it is out here at this particular park. So I never had any trouble in there roaming around. So there you go. Now across the street and behind Firestone, yeah, behind Firestone, there is Ranch 99. A good place for your, like I said, your Asian, your Asian stuff. Uh, they have a hot kitchen area, which serves, which serves pre. Man, this wind is terrible. I'm sorry, but the wind is horrible. They have a hot kitchen area, which serves pre-made food. You know, it ain't bad, and sometimes it's quite tasty. Okay. Then you got a Best Buy over there. Up, oh, Mickey D's coming up. We're, we're gonna go down as far as Flamingo. Okay. Uh, so Mickey D's is over here, Panda Express. Um, you got Verizon to the right next to Panda Express. Yet another car shop, Discount Tires. Uh, Ross Dress for Less across the street, whoops, and so on. You got a wing stop over here, also across the street. Man, this wind, ugh. So, and then across the street also, in that same market, let's do this. Okay, hard to see, but um, straight ahead is Seafood City, another Asian place. Now, I think they focus more on Filipino stuff because there's a Jollibee and a Chow King in there, along with the Red Ribbon, I think, Bakery, and something else I forgot. But good place, you know, prices not bad. They um, have a Grill, Grill King, Grill King, if you want some, you know, pre-cooked, almost cooked Filipino delights. I haven't tried the Grill King myself, but, oh well. Let me see, what's the chick doing? Whoa, how did you fall over? All right, let me do this. Hang on. Excuse me, sorry, yes. Maybe you could help us out. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm broke today. I'm sorry. Bad day. And, you know, panhandlers everywhere. The lady just said, uh, excuse me, sir, you know, we, we just lost our job and I'm trying to get some money for our kids. I don't know, you guys. I'm sympathetic, but some days, I'll tell you a story. I was over here. Oh, hang on a second. So this is a little shopping mall. We're behind Target right now. And sushi, a place called Saikana, which is supposed to be really good. Never tried it. Next to that is your Brazilian sugar waxing, if you know what I mean. And then there's a place called Carved, rotisserie meat, and Tiabi. Uh, been there before, tasted good. Restaurant El Rey, never tried those guys. And so on and so on. Strip mall, right? Another car shop with uh, Tio Pepe. Straight ahead, is a good, straight ahead is the five guys. And let's do this. I'm going to go this way, I think, yeah? Hold on a second. So, here is the five guys, okay? And then across the street is Albertsons, which is linked to Vaughn Supermarket, okay? And then way over there on the corner is Popeyes for your fried chicken delights. And then there's a, uh, Ellis over there too anyway, so that's enough of that. So, here we have Target or Target, as we said in the 80s, your Target shop, and this mall. Now this mall also has the sun in the wrong direction. Um, that all-you-can Korean place is over here, which is quite tasty. All right. All-you-can Korean, can you see it? Can you see it? you got Sally Beauty and the space on the end is, is empty. It used to be a uh, little dollar type stores but from what I heard they jacked the rent up 
and the dollar play said, hey, we're out. If you like Raising Cane, Raising Cane, the chicken shack, well, a chicken, a fried chicken tender chain, they're pretty popular, okay? And tastes good, I've been there a few times. Oh, the first time I went there, I was really drunk, right? And so uh, I was coming from the strip and I was just blitzed. And I went there, give me some, give me some chicken tenders. <laughs> I don't want any sauce. And I burned my tongue. Huh. The memories we have, right? And so anyway, that's just a little quick, 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 quick tour of this area as you want it. As you can see, it's interesting, you know, but I haven't had any issues down here myself, riding around through these areas. I've been lucky, I guess. Touch wood, right? And that'll do it. All right, you guys, whoa, in front, hey. I think that'll do it, you guys. Just a really quick tour of the area the guy wanted to see. It's probably kind of jumpy because I was riding around for a little while and not seeing anything, so blah, anyway. Um, good luck on your move to Vegas. Hope your job is cool and everything else. And yeah, you guys, thanks for watching, and you all have a great day. Au revoir.